in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Good morning. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Pour your grace into our hearts, we pray, O Lord, that we may be constantly drawn away from unruly desires and obey by your own gift, the heavenly teaching you give us. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, Return, O Israel, to the Lord your God. You have collapsed through your guilt. Take with you words and return to the Lord. Say to him, Forgive all iniquity and receive what is good that we may render as offerings the bullocks from our stores. Assyria will not deceive us, nor shall we have Forces to mount, we shall say no more, our God, to the work of our hands, for in you the orphan finds compassion. I will heal their defections, says the Lord. I will love them free, freely, for my wrath is turned away from them. I will be like the dew for Israel. He shall blossom like the lily, he shall strike root like the Lebanon cedar and put forth his shoots. His splendor shall be like the olive tree, and his fragrance like the Lebanon cedar. Again they shall dwell in his shade, and raise grain. They shall blossom like the wine, and his fame shall be like the wine of Lebanon. Ephraim, what more has he to do with idols? I have humbled him, but I will prosper him. I am like a verdant cypress tree. Because of me you bear fruit. Let him who is wise understand these things. Let him who is prudent know them. Straight are the paths of the Lord. In them the just walk. But the sinners stumble in them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. I am the Lord your God. Hear my voice. I am the Lord, your God, hear my voice. An unfamiliar speech I hear. I relieved his shoulder of the burden. His hands were freed from the basket. In distress you called, and I rescued you. I am the Lord, your God, hear my voice. Unseen I answered you in thunder. I trusted you and the waters of Meribah. Hear my people, and I will admonish you, O Israel, will you not hear me? I am the Lord, your God, hear my voice. There will be no strange God among you, nor shall you worship any alien God. I, the Lord, am your God, who led you forth from the land of Egypt. I am the Lord, your God, hear my voice. If only my people would hear me, and Israel walk in my ways, I would feed, feed them with the best of wheat, and with honey from the rock I would fill them. I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, the King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus.
Jesus Christ, the King of endless glory. Repent, says the Lord, the kingdom of heaven is at the end. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Almighty God, cleanse my heart and my lips that in word be proclaim your holy gospel. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the holy gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. One of the scribes came to Jesus and he asked him, which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, The first is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your might, and with all your strength. The second is this, You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than this. The scribe said to him, Well said, teacher, you are right in saying, He is one, and there is no other than he. And to love him with all your heart, with all your understanding, with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself is worth more than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. And when Jesus saw that he answered with understanding, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And no one dared to ask him any more questions. The word of the Lord, the gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, by the words of the gospel. What is the greatest commandment? That is the question one of the scribes asked Jesus. The scribes and the Pharisees prided themselves in their knowledge of the law. They made it a lifetime practice to study the 613 precepts of the law in the Old Testament and also its numerous rabbinic commentaries along with the ritual observances. The scribe asked that question, which is the greatest commandment. They knew the answer, but they, he wanted to test him along with other scribes and the Pharisees whether Jesus really understood the law as they did. So Jesus simply started with them with his understanding of the law of God and also its requirements. Jesus told them the number one law, the most important one, is this. Love your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first and the greatest. The second is equally important. Love your neighbor as yourself. So, without the first, the second cannot exist. The same is true with the first. Both actually complement each other. Love of God is important as well as the love of our neighbor. Without the first, the second cannot exist. The same is true with the first. So why we should love God with all our heart, with all our strength, with all our might, and with all our soul? Because God is love. He created us in love, and He redeemed us in love when we wandered away from His friendship. Therefore, our love for God is a natural response to His exceeding love and kindness toward us. God is love, and our destiny is God, who is nothing but so this is why we have to love God and we have to love our neighbor. If we do not love God, 
then we do not love our neighbor. Or if we do not love our neighbor, we do not love God either. So both love of God and the love of our neighbor, both are equally important. Because the love of our neighbor stems, or it is rooted, in the love of God itself. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. As we stand before the Lord, let us place our needs, our prayers before Him and we ask for His blessing. Let us pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, all bishops, priests, religious and laity, that they may always follow Jesus, listen to His teachings faithfully. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for peace throughout the world, in our own homes, in our homeland and also in all those places torn by war and violence. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us remember in a special way all those who are sick and suffering, our own loved ones in our families and members of our parish community, that they may experience the healing presence of Jesus in their pains and sufferings and get well from their illness. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us keep in silence our own intentions and also the intention of this Mass. This Mass is being offered for Laura Wills as a Mass of healing. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, hear these prayers of your faithful people. Bless us and help us to follow you and imitate your love and goodness in our hearts. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, the fruit of the earth, and the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Bless be God forever. By the mystery of this walk and why it may be come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are ye, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer ye, fruit, the vine, and the work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With a humble spirit and a contrite heart, May we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquity, cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, to the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of his holy church. Look with the favor, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we dedicate, that they may be pleasing in your sight, and always be salutary for us, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God, it is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to, to the feeling of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with the countless angels as with the one voice of praise we acclaim, Holy Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest.
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make you holy, therefore these gifts be framed by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and he entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of The mystery of faith. Save a savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with the fancies of our Pope, place servants, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the <coughs> resurrection <coughs> and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with the blessed joseph her spouse with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours in event forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. 
that is all for each other the sign of peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ to bring it to our Lord to us receive it. May the receiving of your body and the blood of Lord Jesus Christ in order to bring into judgment and condemnation for the good for loving mercy. Be for me protection, might, and body and keep and strength in us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and the blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. the act of spiritual communion, my Jesus. I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you, now permit me to be separated from you. Amen. communion song to love God with all your heart and your neighbor as yourself is worth more than any sacrifice let us pray <clears throat> may your strength be at work in us O Lord pervading our minds and bodies that what we have received by participating in the sacrament may bring us the fullness of redemption through Christ our Lord Amen the Lord be with you. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Look graciously, O Lord, upon the faithful who implore your mercy, that trusting in your kindness, they may spread far and wide the gifts you, your charity has bestowed through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This mass is ended now. Let us go in peace and love to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you and have a blessed day. For our <coughs> recessional, we will sing the fourth the fourth verse of 40 days and 40 nights. 
so shall we help peace.